What the heck? How did I even manage to get up here? I'm in the headquarters mode with an MP40 on search and destroy. I'm going to have to show you guys how to do it in this video. This is absolutely insane. What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel today, I have you guys a brand new video, this video is absolutely insane as you guys have probably seen already by the intro, it's a method how to get outside and actually get weapons inside a headquarters mode, it isn't technically in the headquarters mode but you guys will enjoy this video and hopefully you guys do, of course if you do enjoy it a like would be greatly appreciated, of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys go ahead and do so and turn on notifications if you guys are brand new as it's greatly appreciated, I'm going to be posting much more content here on the channel that you do not want to miss out i'm on the prestige grind right now i'm currently fourth prestige and i will be posting you guys update videos on that not only that but how to get the new secret camo and how to get it extremely fast within the game so that will come out in a few days and along with that i will post another updated rank up fast guide because my previous one isn't that good not compared to what i'm doing now which is helping me level up extremely fast now, as you guys can see, in headquarters, you have a ton of different stuff. You have the gunsmith, you have Howard, you have the male, you have the 1v1 pit, you have the shooting range and stuff like that. But you are limited to a certain area. Of course, you can access zombies in here too by going underground. But you are very limited to what you can do in this area. Now, there are a few glitches or, you know, tricks to get these secret balls within this game where you can actually go and glitch up on top of the buildings and stuff like that, which I have previously posted a video on. If you guys want to know how to get all the secret grid, iron balls within headquarters definitely check out my previous video because i do discuss it and actually show you guys how to do it yourself most people don't actually have it and it's a really cool and unique calling card so definitely go ahead and check that out if you haven't already but like i did say we are limited to what we can do in this headquarters mode and there really isn't too much apart from the shooting range or just going in here in between lobbies and opening up supply drops now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this glitch and how to do it bear in mind this is a glitch I don't think you'll get banned for it, but it is a secret map that was supposed to be put in multiplayer and it hasn't actually been put in multiplayer yet. So this map was supposed to be in multiplayer. I'm not entirely sure how they would have done it, but maybe we can see it as a DLC and hopefully we will see different events within the headquarters mode for maybe Christmas where they'll actually show us different stuff. Maybe have it snow or rain in this mode would be very cool. But to start this glitch, what you guys are going to need to do is go over to the score streak training and from here, just before you join it, you want to make sure your party privacy is closed closed unless you want other people joining you so i made mine closed because i was just trying to do this on myself and trying to explore this area from here what you want to do is go into the score streak training now bear in mind this works with um an ethernet cable or even on wi-fi i did it on wi-fi here ethernet cable is even easier for you guys who already have that set up but as you can see you just want to make sure you load into score street training you get the same area and we already know that this area is headquarters but you're not in a headquarters mode anymore you're actually in a custom games from here, press the middle button on your PlayStation, press connect to internet and disable your internet connection. Like I did say, this works for people who are using an ethernet cable. Instead, you could just simply pull it back out and put it straight back in. But once you're on the menu, you want to then reconnect your connection. As you guys can see, you will get a few error messages. Simply press play online yet again. And from here, you guys will be connecting to the online servers. Now, as you guys can see, you're now connecting to the online servers. You will load back in the headquarters mode. This time, you will not be in the score street training. And that's a crucial part of this glitch or trick that you guys want to do. So, as you guys can see, I'm now in headquarters. I'm fully loaded in. I'm back where you usually are. And I'm in an open lobby yet again. It would be full with a ton of players if they hadn't disabled it. But we can expect to see that back here in the game in a few days. But as you can see, you then want to go over to custom games. And you will notice... The mode is score street training and the map is the grounds. Now the grounds is the headquarters area as we already know. There is actually another glitch which I can show you guys here on the channel. Maybe later on today or even later on in this video I'll show you guys how to do it as well. But as you can see what you want to do is change the game mode to search and destroy. If you do not change it to search and destroy and have the exact options I have enabled in this. This will not work. That is a crucial part of this glitch and you guys want to make sure you go ahead and do that. Once you have done that. 
and you have already taken down all the settings like i did say if you want to go ahead rewind the video or simply just screenshot it and then enable all the settings once you have done that and put it to search and destroy you guys will then load into the game search and destroy on the grounds now the reason you have to use search and destroy and the certain options for the game mode is simply because we're going to be doing a glitch that will take you outside of the map so as you guys noticed you spawned on top of this truck now if you do not have it on search and destroy you will be spawned in a different area which is the score suit training and you will not be able to move from this location i will show you guys here in a second i'm just going to be jumping out the map and as you guys can see i can run straight back in but when I run back in, I'm now in an area where you cannot actually leave. So in this area, there's invisible barriers all around me. I cannot leave the score street training area from here. And this is a crucial part of why you want to use search and destroy. If you guys happen to go in this area, first of all, simply blow yourself up by a nade. You will notice you'll be in a spectator mode. Simply just press X to respawn. You'll fall from the sky and now you can access the headquarters area. Now, as you can see, once you are in the headquarters area, you can explore to your consent. As you guys can see, the zombies area is locked, but I will show you guys later on in the video how to access it. Now, the 1v1 pit is completely empty. There's nothing in here, but you are in an invisible barrier area, as you guys are seeing right now. To simply go out of that, just follow where I go, and you'll be taken outside of that area. It's very, very cool, but bear in mind, not all of the map is solid. You will fall through and die once you explore too far, as you guys are going to be seeing right now. So I did die. It really does suck, but then you can spawn in again. And another thing, which I'm going to show you later on in the video, is how you can actually go anywhere within this. So I was just exploring, having a little bit of fun. I went over to the emblem gallery. As you can see, you can't create a paint job because you are in a custom games but you can access all the stuff and take a look around for you guys who are not prestiged you guys can actually go ahead and take a look for yourself in a prestige area it's absolutely insane and it's by far the coolest thing i've seen anyway so this is the theater we've seen the theater before and i actually tried to do the glitch but not many glitches that are working in headquarters work in this mode as well but as you can see, I tried to jump on the ledge and it wasn't letting me jump on there. That was something that they added in headquarters deliberately so you can find those gridiron balls. But I found a glitch on how to actually get up to that area, which is pretty cool. Like I did say, you guys can actually just spawn up there, which I didn't know in the time of recording this video. You can actually spawn up there by pressing X once you are in spectator mode. You can fly across the map. Press X to spawn and you will spawn wherever your spectator mode is currently looking, which is pretty cool. It's another way you can actually explore maps and this actually works on any map as well, which is by far a benefit too. As you can see, I strafe jumped onto that little area. I was doing it the exact way that was shown in headquarters in my previous video. And from here, I was on top of this little bunker with an MP40. Unfortunately, you couldn't jump up here and like just simply walk up there and there was no grid iron ball in this either. But there was the few Easter eggs. I found a way how to get on top. But then I got stuck and then I figured out another way how to get up there. So I decided to blow myself up. I was stuck. And from here, you guys will notice you can actually fly around the map if you like to. As you can see, I just flew across the map a little bit and then pressed spawn. You do take a bit of damage. But I'm going to be doing it again just to show you guys that you can get in different locations other than just these areas that are in the headquarters mode. So once I figured this out, I was like, hmm, let me try and go into the zombies mode. And I actually figured out a way, but not through the gate. You guys are actually going to have to locate yourself underneath the map. And once you are underneath the map, you can then fly up and spawn in that area. It's very, very cool. And this glitch is insane. Literally, it's so fun to do. You can actually do this with multiple friends as well. And if you guys want me to host a lobby for you, for some reason, you can't do it yourself. Add me on PlayStation 4 and I'll go ahead and actually create this lobby so we can explore as a group, which would be pretty cool. As you guys can see, I went into the headquarters mode and then went into this little room. Pretty funny area here. Uh, there was nothing really to do in this area, which did suck, but I will show you guys a little. But I will show you guys a few more spots that I can locate within this video as well. So as you guys can see, I decided to fly over the map again, and I actually landed on that building right in front of me. As you guys can see, I'm flying over there now. I landed on top of it, and that's probably what drew your attention to this video, is the fact that I was standing on top of that building with an MP40. Now, it is in headquarters mode. This is literally the headquarters map. You can't get more realistic than this. This is headquarters mode, but unfortunately not with all the other players, and not with the orders that you can complete in the game. But what I'm going to do now is leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay, just so you guys can watch it if you want to find out a few more secret locations within this map. I did find quite a few spots in this map, and I have to say, it's very cool to explore considering that the game has only been out a few days already and we have got something like this already in the game 
Now credit goes to the person who found it. If I find out who found this glitch or this trick, I will let you guys know down in the description below. So check out the description if you guys want to know who the founder is. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Smash a like on it. Let's try and aim for something whatever like 500 likes on this video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a future video. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.